the term middle leadership is quite um, generalized. It's, it's not a specific role. It covers a kind of a, a layer of leadership. The role of the middle leader and the extent to which they can, can, can contribute to those whole school matters is actually determined by the senior leaders in the school. How much are they willing to share of their, um, their roles, their responsibilities? How do they conceptualise the role of the middle leader and therefore how is the school organised as a result of that? Different school contexts and size um, will will impact upon how middle leadership is exercised. Lots of schools now have different terms for their leaders within their schools. So they'll be branded actually as, as quite different different things in different schools. The task is to build middle leadership and that's a, a role that contributes. It's not um, a staging post on a journey. It is a place that is really important. And I think we have to kind of get away from the idea that it's simply about moving up a hierarchy. When you're deciding about where you want to go as a, as, um, as a teacher, from a teacher, there's two ways. Do you, you might want to be a middle leader who wants to progress to lead a school of their own to become a head teacher, but then there are others who don't want that. But they want to be a middle leader. They want to be um, leading a team, possibly, with an AOLE, as it is for us now, developing the new curriculum. Leading in the middle grounds theory at the site of practice. Um, and I think that's really absolutely true, because as senior leaders, we tend to be in that helicopter pilot mode, overseeing strategically. And we really need to rely on those middle leaders and the practice that they're seeing and the influence that they can have, not just on the teaching in the classroom, but also on how we lead our schools. Middle leaders are the closest to what goes on in the classrooms. They are working day to day with those teams and they are quite often classroom teachers themselves. So with, the, with that in mind, they've got the finger on the pulse, if you like, of, of what's going on. Um, they can make assessments about what needs to, to change and they can be the drivers of that change for improvement. If we are looking to improve the learning outcomes of young people, middle leadership has not just got a role to play, it's got a crucial role to play.